Looping has become an important performance tool in much of today's music. This is the 2880 Super Multi-Track Looper from Electro Harmonics. With over 20 years of experience since the 16 second delay has come out, they have put this thing together which combines a four track looper which has great flexibility, but they've kept the interface really simple. So the best way to show off the 2880 is just to kind of jump in, get our feet wet, and show you how it works. So we're going to create a loop, we're going to mix it down, we're going to add some effects to it. But before we do that, I want to kind of give you a lay of the land so you can see what we're doing as we go through it. What you have in this section is you have four tracks. These can either be four mono or two stereo pairs. When we finish recording that, you can mix it down to the stereo mixdown track right here. And then when you finish with that, that's going to free up these four tracks for further looping, further recording, whatever you want. Along the way, we're going to show you the reverse function, the octave down function, so you can create a great bass part. And before you mix down, you can adjust levels with the sliders, you can adjust the stereo panning with the pan, and just get it exactly right before you mix it down. So let's start a looping. We're in ready record mode. I got the foot pedal ready to go. And we can do it with a click if you like. But I don't like clicks, so we're not going to use that. So here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's track one, and that's going to be great. And now we're going to bump on over to track two, which the 2880 has conveniently already done for us. And we're going to put some reverse stuff on it. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to start the loop going, click it into reverse. You hear it going in reverse. And then when I click record, we're going to be in, and I'll put a backwards thing on it. Perfect. Let's click off reverse and hear what we got. All right, we can pan that. We're going to move that over there a little bit, move that over there a little bit. Okay, that's cool. So now we're going to record a bass for our burgeoning composition. And the way you do that on the 2880, or at least when you have a guitar, is you want to raise the track up an octave so you can record the guitar, then lower it back down again so you have the bass sound. The way you do that is you're going to click the octave button, you're going to move the tempo slider up until the red light blinks, which tells you that you're at the initial tempo. And when you hit play, and then turn off the octave button, it goes up an octave and you can record. Turn this down a little bit. Here we go. That's going to be good. So let's surprise ourselves. So now we lower the tempo back to our initial tempo. So that guitar has now dropped an octave. Let's bring these up a little bit, pan it a little bit the other way, see what that sounds like. I can live with that. Okay. So now we're going to move over to track four. So we have our three tracks gone. We're going to do our fourth track here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Let's see what I'm in the mood to do. Let's put in record and see what happens. That's not bad. So let's turn that down, kind of make it more contextual. So here is where you enter the mix down stage. You can set your pans, you can set your levels, and then you can get it going when you're ready. We're listening down to it. Let's see how you want to do it. That sounds pretty good. We'll put the mix into engage mode, and now we're going to record it. And as you're recording, it'll record all your moves. So I think I'm going to play with the pan of this one a little bit. Here we go. Great, and let's see what we got. Take down our initial sliders, and let's bring up our mix. The 2880 has full MIDI sync capabilities. It can function as either a MIDI master or a MIDI slave. 
You can also control all the parameters of the 2880 via MIDI program change or controllers. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much four tracks recorded onto a stereo pair. You can now open up these four tracks. You can put two stereo pairs or four monos in there if you like. Affect it with reverse, with octave up, with octave down. We showed you how to do it. And this is the 2880 Super Multi-Track Looper from Electroharmonics. It's a great little thing. It's really simple to use.